Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Chris here again with another cigar unboxing. Uh, this is a, uh, a box that I've had sitting in my humidor um, for about, uh, well, I would say about a year and a half now, uh, maybe a little bit longer. And uh, I got this box uh, out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida at a, a company called um, Neptune Cigars. So I get a lot of my cigars from Neptune Cigars because they're unbelievably amazing with their customer service um prices they've always got great deals uh their smoke ring program is uh, is definitely worth uh, worthwhile uh you get the points add up so quickly it's crazy uh way better than any credit card um uh, points program that you can get and um and then, um when i was down there and um and uh, decided I wanted the box, but then after I saw the box, then I decided I needed the box because it's such a cool looking box. Uh, I'll show it to you here in a second. Uh, cigar was great, but uh, um, I can only imagine what this is gonna taste like after like a year and a half of age and, and, and longer. So um, uh, so yeah, so this is, this is a, a, nice, uh, a nice box. This is, uh, actually I've got this one here on hold for, um, something special that we're planning here this summer with some family. Uh, so um, th that's what this one here is for. So it's kind of being saved for uh, for the summer. Um, but I thought I would review it for you anyway. Um, so let's open this guy up. It comes in a really cool, really nice looking box here to begin with. Zoom out a little bit here. There we are. And uh, of course the Surgeon General says it's uh, is can cause lung cancer and heart disease, but uh, you don't inhale premium made cigars. So I'm not sure why, uh, why would they have that one on there? And I think they're just blanketing uh, everything on cigarettes to uh, handmade premiums, which is insane, doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And you're not gonna have kids running around spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on premium handmade cigars um yeah it just doesn't doesn't make sense especially when they got purple and green and yellow and pink gummies out there available for them um at a cheaper price and it looks prettier so that's just my two cents but here's the box here and you can see right here um they put a boba pack in there right off the bat um i have uh, replenished it but it did come originally with a Bovida in there. So, super great. Uh, like I said, it's been sitting in my humidor for about a year and a half now. And uh, I'll show you what the box looks like. It's a really cool, I don't know if you can see it here, but a really cool textured, textured box too, eh? And I'm not sure what this, this is I'm not sure if that's a date thing or not but I haven't been able to figure it out but mind you I haven't really been um, I haven't uh, really looked into too much anyway either so um, but this is this is the cigars so absolutely beautiful display how they've uh, how they've done it here it's uh, yeah just a nice a really 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 nice uh, nice display on on these cigars and uh yeah a little ribbon there to pull it up and uh, and then they've got a card here maybe i don't know if you can read that or not but this is just a bit about the cigar and how it was started and talk about the spanish matadors and or bullfighting and stuff. When I lived in California after university, I was down in, I lived in San Diego, um, on Pacific Beach. I used to bartend at a bar called uh, the Red Onion. It was a big nightclub right on uh, right on uh, Pacific Beach in San Diego. Um, got a job there. I was just went down to surf, and uh, and to hang out there. I ended up getting a bartending job because uh, that's what I was doing in Vancouver Island um, after university. I took a a year off to find myself to figure out if I was going to be a biologist. I was on my way to Australia um, to get into marine biology because uh, I was a summer student biologist at Ducks Unlimited 
and uh, there's no jobs for biologists and my father was a pilot and I, I uh, went up for a familiarization flight, fell in love with flying. So all of my life I wanted to be a biologist and now all of a sudden I'm, I want to be a pilot. And there was lots of jobs for pilots at the time uh, and now there still is. I'm getting calls all the time to go back to flying. Um, there's no jobs for biologists so I decided I needed some time to figure things out. Went to Vancouver Island, uh, lived in, in Courtney and Nanaimo and had an amazing time. As, uh, I learned to surf over in, uh, in Tofino, but I've been water skiing all my life, um, um, you know, and solemn and trick skis and shoe skis and that kind of stuff, and, uh, and some barefoot, and, um, and then I've been downhill skiing uh, forever and doing uh, ballet and trick skiing and all that kind of stuff, so um, surfing came relatively easy to me, and uh, um, it was always something, I, I've always been a beach bum, so it was always something I wanted to do, and... Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how I uh, uh, ended up down in there, and then I went to California to uh, to uh, to do some surfing, and uh, ended up staying down there, and it was really really cool. But yeah, it was uh, I lived above this little pub called the uh, the Rusty Pelican, and it was just a, a shit show of a little place. We all my two buddies of mine we slept on air mattresses and and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was it was it was a fun. It was it was a pretty pretty fun life, but um, yeah, I uh, I didn't learn any Spanish when I was down there, um, but a couple of my friends um, they they learned Spanish and well they knew Spanish because they were they were born and raised in California, and, and we were getting really cheap tequila down in Ensenada and Rosarita, places like that, but we did go and see a bullfight in. Um, in Tijuana, and, and they, it's like the hockey rinks here in Canada. There's always like little tiny bullfighting uh, rings and stuff all over the place down there. I felt bad for the bull, um, but uh, the bull kind of came. The one I saw, I only saw one. Uh, the bull kind of came out on top because he really kicked the the, uh, the bullfighter's ass, and he kind of ran off, and everyone was laughing at him. And the bull just kind of stood there and and really did nothing. And that was the end of that. And we were drinking and partying anyway, um, and uh, yeah, it was fun. Um, lots of fun stories out of uh, out of California. Maybe I'll tell some of those uh, more of those later on in other other reviews. Uh, the cigar you can see it is uh, six inches in length. It's a torpedo shaped cigar, and I love like this is what really kind of drew me to the cigar when I when I first started looking at it uh, when I was in uh, Neptune Cigars there was this whole band, like, look at this thing. It's got like four bands to it. So I thought, geez, this looks like a really cool looking cigar, so I gotta try that. And then I, and I tried it uh, back at the house and uh, really, really, really liked it. And like I said, uh, <clears throat> came back to, uh, to get some more, and lo and behold, they had a box sitting there, and I'm like, damn, I need that box. So I ended up buying the box. And you can see it's, um, it's a combination of, uh, uh, with Monte Cristo and uh, Placentia uh, cigars, so they came up with this this guy here, and it's a really 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 nice uh, nice cigar. So you can see that band here, and uh, let's see if I can focus there. There we go, and this band here, and then this guy here. and then the foot. Like, it's just so cool. Like, uh, I don't know, I guess you, you know, as you're, as you're smoking your down, you just start removing bands as you're moving. So, um, if you're a cigar band collector, you've got, uh, you got four right here, and they're all really beautiful, uh, beautiful bands. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's the cigar there. Um, I said it's a six inch cigar. The ring gauge on it is a 52. Uh, strength is medium. The wrapper color is is a natural color, and the it's right out of uh, Nicaragua. Um, um, the wrapper is a Nicaraguan wrapper. The binder is Jalapa and a Guatemalan um, wrapper, and, and the filler from Nicaragua. And it's supposed to this the cigar here. It's supposed to like you see in the card there too. Uh, it's supposed to symbolize the Spanish matador sword. I don't know if it does or not, but. 
it's it's pretty cool. I, I I really like it. I think it's a really cool looking looking cigar, and uh, looking forward to presenting it to uh, for our party this uh, this summer. I think it's gonna it's gonna be one of those standout ones here. So there's there's a few a few boxes that I've got set aside uh, for this summer for um, for a few of the parties that we're having here. So and this is definitely one of them. Um, but it uses uh, like absolute top shelf Cuban cigar uh, seed and is grown in, in Jalapa and Corojo um, as well as a uh, Criollo. And um, and what the Criollo does, it it, it gives them the, like the flavor of champagne and leather, wood, pepper, spice, some sweetness to it. Um, and uh, um, yeah, while uh, some of the other areas, like it gives like creamy milk chocolate flavors and the Corojo uh, it gives it that that nutty nutty flavors to the cigar so um, and it has uh, it has kind of a, a reddish um, uh, hue to it as well uh, I don't know if you remember the um, the a10 Let's see. hold on one second I'm just gonna go get it and I'll show you all right I'm back uh, yeah, this is the, you can see this is the Majuro, and the lighter here is the Corojo, but you can see it's kind of got a redder, a reddish tinge to it. And that's what, uh, that's what the, um, uh, this does here, um, to it. So it's, um, uh, yeah, so that, that that's kind of a, a reddish tinge type of, uh, uh, type of cigar. Um, but like I said, it gives like flavors of like champagne, leather, a uh, bit of wood, pepper, spice, um, and uh, uh, sorry, that that's the Creole. Never mind. Listen, listen. Do you hear that? No, are you drunk? Yes. Uh, the Corojo, yeah, it's got like it, it gives it that nutty, the nutty flavors to the um, to the uh, to the cigar itself. So um, yeah, the Criollo. Um, it uh, it delivers nutty nutty flavors to the uh, to the cigar so uh, and it really kind of balances itself out you know between the Criollo and the Corojo um, like uh, with the sweet leather woody pepper spice to the nutty nuttier flavor so it's a nice balanced uh, balanced cigar uh, it also has uh, like a black pepper kind of leads leads the way and then it kind of slows down and it goes more into the uh, leather and espresso as you're kind of moving yourself through the cigar um, from what I can remember when I had it um, about a year and a half ago so uh, I'm sure it's probably going to change in complexity after sitting in the humidor for a while but that's what I got on it when I first uh, first had it and uh, yeah it's a 2002 uh, vintage and um, it uh, it got 91 points on cigar aficionado, so it's a, it's a really nice cigar, uh, easy to smoke, easy to enjoy, um, and looks really 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 great. So um, yeah, so that is the the uh, Monte Cristo um, Espada Estoque Espade Espad Espade Estoque. Anyway, that's uh, that's your cigar there. So. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe to this channel. There's going to be lots, lots, lots more stuff to come and uh, lots of things to, uh, to look at and go over. And, um, and uh, like, uh, we're, uh, we're about halfway through right now at this point in filming um, for, uh, for giving away a humidor full of cigars. So uh, I think we've got about room for about nine more cigars in our humidor. Um, I'll go and get it here. I'll be right back. I'll show you what we've got so far. That is what I have in the humidor so far for you guys. So, and this is for giveaway. Uh, so, yeah, so we're about, we got about room for about nine more uh, cigars that we can fit in here quite comfortably. Maybe a little bit more, but for sure at least nine more. And uh, it's going to be a really nice humidor. It's going to be worth, uh, there's going to be a lot of money in, in, this, uh, in this humidor. Um, yeah, to win it, all you got to do is is like and subscribe to my channel. So like this video and subscribe to the channel, and you got a you got a good chance of winning stuff. So and and uh, a really cool humidor. So uh, thanks again. I appreciate everything, and uh, have yourself a really nice day. Take care. Bye bye.